welcome back to my channel so what I want to talk about today before I take you on our home tour is just why we brought what we brought and kind of the steps um, that we took to buy so we brought a one bedroom apartment and people didn't understand why we did that because obviously we've got Matilda people thought we would buy a two bedroom or something like that so I'm going to explain just the financial side a little bit so what happened was we are a one income family like I have said um, so um, my husband this is like the entry kind of level of his job um, he went to university for the career he's got so he's still in like an entry level position uh, so we are still very young <laughs> in that regard so we went to the bank first off and basically the bank we went to I guess they're used to people that are buying investment properties or a dual income family things like that they were very rude um, so much so that I'm pretty sure that my husband has actually ended us going to that bank um, he didn't like we went in there and they didn't even give us options or goals or steps they basically just said look you're good at budgeting but your income's too low we went to a couple of other banks we did get pre-approved with another bank but we just felt like one they weren't going to offer us as much money as the um the broker people did and two there was a lot more kind of holes like hoops you had to jump through um so we did go through a broker and i highly recommend if you're a first time home buyer to go through both um, go look see your options so because we are a one income family we basically got told that our cap was going to be two hundred thousand dollars so if you are anywhere basically that isn't in like the northern territory or tasmania two hundred thousand dollars is not a lot of money for a property so we kind of just looked at our options originally we wanted to buy a tiny home so we had seen tiny homes we thought that would be great we saw a tiny home on gumtree for a hundred thousand dollars the issue with tiny homes is that you can't get a bank loan for them unless you've got like um you could take out a personal loan but you have to have lots of capital and things like that and we didn't have that the other issue we had was the land that we did look at buying um like both of the things together would have been all about money and we wouldn't have had money left over for plumbing and to set the electricity up and then we also found out that basically where we live is a no zone for that so certain places in certain places in australia you could live in a caravan full time you could have a tiny home you know you it's a lot less restricted but where we live for some reason there was so much red tape you would have to go through so basically all i could find was that you could have a tiny home but it has to go on an existing property as a granny flat and it has to be attached to the resident the residential area um, otherwise um, people could only stand there for up to 30 days a year or something it was rather stupid um, and then of course with the caravan we had looked at getting a caravan to put on property to maybe build um, a small home or a small cabin because we didn't want anything too big um, but again it was like 60 days you could do that um, there was just a lot of restrictions and of course everything that's going on in the world um, building and it just it never would have worked out well so we looked at apartments while I was on Gumtree um, if you're if you're not Australian Gumtree is basically like if you've got Facebook marketplace it's like that um, well I was on Gumtree looking at the um, tiny houses um this apartment came up it was right in our price range um i think at closing uh, i think it was listed at 207 um so i messaged the person we went and looked at it the next day uh and then that night we put in an offer we absolutely loved that i think people when they come in they think it's very small it is, it is small it's a one bedroom apartment and you'll see how we've kind of layered things out when i do the house tour so we wanted a tiny home and that is what we got <laughs> um, it is a lot bigger than a caravan and I guess some tiny homes you know it's, it's it is what it is for a first home 
there are, were a few things we didn't expect to happen um, and that was just because we, we brought in lockdown so it took a little bit longer originally we thought that it was going to be around I think 21 to 28 days like the whole process and I think it took almost two months and that was just because we had some holdups with building inspections and things like that we had an issue with something to do with the lawyers as well but those are just things that couldn't be helped. So at closing, I'm pretty sure we off we offered the full price. So that's why we paid for it, 207. And we were really happy with that. Because now we have been in here for almost two, wait, almost a month we've been in here. And I was looking the other day and we saw that properties like this are now going to auction. Australia is a very, very hot market at the moment. Um, it's becoming very difficult for young people to get in. So that is why we brought what we brought, just so we could get a foot in the door. Obviously, we will be here until we have our next baby. Um, we are thinking we would like a little bit of an age gap between Matilda and the next child, but God might have other plans. Either way, I'm pretty sure until Matilda's like around five, I don't think she'll care being out where she is. We are going to section it off, but like I said, because of certain things shipping-wise and just... It hasn't happened yet so we'll be looking at doing a lot of that next year the other thing that that we weren't expecting was that it doesn't have an oven it has kind of like a pizza oven kind of thing but you'll see that when we do the tour um, from what I could read this place hasn't had an oven in a very very long time my husband said that there's no problem we would want to redo the kitchen anyway um, out of everything the kitchen is the only thing that we think that we will remodel a little bit um, I did paint it yellow I absolutely love it yellow uh, I've seen like pictures of like yellow kitchens with white cabinets that's what I was going for so I think in the next couple of years we will be looking at doing something different to the kitchen and putting in a little bit of a dividing wall like where Matilda is so those are the only two things that we thought um, wouldn't work but we know that we can make them work later on if that makes sense so what else so it's basically just a standard um, I'm pretty sure it's 65 square foot it also comes with a built like a garage which was a huge huge selling point for my husband because previous at our old place our car had been broken into so a nice garage it locks up and we've got extra room for storage we've got a little storage shed in the garage as well so whatever doesn't kind of fit in here we can put down um into the storage shed what else am i going to say oh yes because it was a private sale it was a little bit different from you know having a real estate agent do lots of things for us there was another property that we were interested in looking in and it is in the same kind of areas here and i did ring the real estate agent like a number of times because i wanted to go and look at it but you know he just he never got back to me so i was really happy when this property came up in the same area this is a really nice area it's really close to town and schools it's very family friendly orientated like um, around us we've got lots of young families it's close to schools even though Matilda's not going to go to school um, she will be homeschooled we wanted if we had to rent this property out or if we sold it we were keeping in mind those kinds of things so like I said we will probably be here around five years this is just our stepping stone to build up equity so we can move into what we would like as a townhouse so we are hoping that in the next five to five or so years we'll have enough equity here to buy a townhouse so we can have a few more children the other reason we did this is our mortgage has our mortgage plus strata and all of that that is the same price as what we were paying in rent so we were paying six hundred dollars a fortnight in rent uh, and if we had had more children and we weren't renting we would not be able to afford to pay rent so the renting at if, if you rent a three bedroom house here where we live, I'm pretty sure it starts off at around $600. Some of them are $600 upwards a week for rent. You can move to other places, like not that good areas and you could get cheaper. 
but from what I have been told by friends and people who are renting, around $600 is your average for like a week. And we were paying $600 a fortnight. So, you know, I couldn't imagine doing that a week. Um, obviously here in Australia you get like rent assistance and things like that to help out. But um, you can't always count on that because we were getting help with rent assistance and then one week we had it and then the next week we didn't and we were never able to get it back and we're not entirely sure what happened so with owning our own property we kind of know what's happening um and all of that and we know that our mortgage payments and things like that will stay the same so we aren't too concerned too much about that the other issue we had when we were renting was we were dealing with really bad um like a real, real estate agent she wasn't like the best and we were complaining about lots of things and like it wasn't getting fixed so that was the other reason we knew we really wanted to buy it um, other people think we should have waited uh, until we could have afforded a townhouse but the truth of the matter is as like I said at the beginning of this video unless I was working our cap was two hundred thousand dollars and it wouldn't have gone up and it would it would have just stayed it probably could have would have gone down the more children we had if my husband was single and didn't have children he would have been approved for three hundred thousand to three hundred fifty thousand dollars so the moment you have someone else on the lease or like go in with someone or you have children the bank see you as a higher and higher risk so basically we got told that if we did not buy before we had a second baby they wouldn't touch us unless I was working. So that was the other reason we knew we kind of had a shorter time frame to buy. I'm really, really happy with where we live and I do understand people's concerns because Matilda does not have her own bedroom. But like I said, she is still very young and it is not forever. Within a year or so, hopefully we will be out of here and we will be in a bigger property. Matilda, when she did have her own bedroom, she wouldn't actually sleep in it anyway. Um, she was sleeping in the lounge in the previous property we had. We were renting and that was just because she wouldn't sleep in her own bedroom. I don't know if she thought it was too far away or what the deal was, but she just wouldn't sleep. So she doesn't really mind at all. The other thing is, is I have seen other people like on YouTube and they're doing this and it is becoming a more and more occurring thing of like one bedroom apartments things like that having young children because the prices of properties are going up so much and I just feel so blessed and grateful that God opened the doors for us to buy this place um, the other thing is is that we went in with a $20,000 bond like a, a $20,000 to go in with in Tasmania we basically only needed 10,000 so that was our first goal and then they said basically we would need $20,000 and I don't think that was too bad. We didn't have the full, um, I think it's 25% so we did have to pay lenders mortgage insurance but basically as soon as we saw this place we knew this is what we wanted and we kind of knew that if we waited a few more months so that we wouldn't have to pay mortgage lenders insurance this place would be gone and the possibility we would have been priced out of the market and like I said they're already doing these kind of properties at auction um, which you know it is what it is property is hot but I have rambled on enough that is kind of just what happened with buying our first property it was all very straightforward we had amazing people help us we had a few hiccups just because of what's going on um, but apart from that I feel so blessed and so lucky that the Lord blessed us with this lovely place. He's blessed us with amazing neighbors. It's nice and quiet. It's just everything I always wanted. And I hope you enjoy um, walking through our property and just seeing it. Um, yeah, bye. Hello and welcome to our home. I'm standing next to our Christmas tree. Um, I'm very tall so our Christmas tree just looks really small. So, <laughs> this is for our house tour so as you walk in i'm standing actually right next to our front door and i've got laundry there so um 
you know it is what it is this is how our house looks i'm going to say 95 percent of the time so it doesn't look perfect but i think this just honestly looks like an average house <laughs> or an apartment small house tiny house or whatever you'd like to call it we just call it our tiny home so yes i'm going to show you so this is our christmas tree and it is right here presents and then we've got a really large window um, right next to our door it's Matilda and then this is kind of like our living our living space when the Christmas tree is gone we are going to um, be moving it down because we're putting the dividing area in so this is where Matilda sleeps and spends a lot of her time um, her little play area, her bedroom, you know, all of her clothes and toys and jazz goes there. No little change mat. Just pull that out. There's her toys. So yeah, we'll be putting in a little dividing area to make it her own little bedroom. And then you swing around and you're in our kitchen. So like I said, our kitchen is where we will probably be doing quite a bit of renovation. <laughs> I have already painted it yellow. I love the yellow. Um, so we'll be adding like a pantry and oven and our tables here. So it's a really good size. We just kind of need to figure out, obviously we want to change the floor as well. Um, so it's a really good side, size. We just need to figure out how we want to put everything in so that it fits. I think everything is going to go in a massive U. We'll probably keep something like this so we can still have like seating. Um, yeah, so we're just going to make sure we can figure out how to put an oven and a fridge. And we would also like a, a standing pantry. So all of that hopefully will go in. Don't mind me, I've got dirty dishes. Mm -hmm. um, we also have like another window here which is nice and then so this is what it looks like I like the yellow the yellow and the blue together yeah Tilly are you gonna say hello she's eating a teething rusk poor little thing um, and as you'll notice there is no TV in here we get asked all the time about a TV we don't have a TV we think if we do get one we might put one here um, we don't watch a lot of TV we normally just watch it like on the tablet or because you know we've got the tablet there um, TVs are big and bulky and uh, you know the room but we are gonna put like a chest of drawers or something here so we might put a TV in I don't know depending on how dividing Matilda's area goes all of Matilda's clothes are in here but yeah I might do a bit more of an in-depth when we finish you know um, putting the divider in and all that of how we set up Matilda's room and then in here is our bedroom so our bedroom is really big this is really what drew me to the home so again we've got another window here we're going to be getting another bookshelf to go in there oh sorry Tilly we left Matilda, she wants to be involved. Here you go. Oh. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. So yeah, the bedroom is really what drew me to it. It's so nice and big. Um, I've painted it this blue colour. And then we both have our own closets. This is my husband's work area. Another closet we keep all our linen up here um, so yeah because sometimes he has to work from home so it worked in really well then we've got a bookshelf there I'm going to get another bookshelf to go there um, and then something so it kind of looks like it all connects if that makes sense so I think it's a really nice big bedroom and we're going to get um, a, the him amazing grace to go above our bed hopefully and then you walk in here and this is our ensuite I haven't painted the ensuite I was going to paint it but I was going to paint it the same blue as the rest of the house but I didn't know if I wanted to or not so I've just left it so we've got the free the shower the only thing we'll probably be changing here is the sink I don't really like the pedestal sink that's on there and obviously we'd like a bit of a bigger mirror and things like that um in towels 
Matilda's bath. That. Um, we're really happy that it came with the plug-in for a washer and dryer. Yeah, and then you walk in. And so yeah, that is our home. Okay guys, that is our home and we really hope you enjoyed watching it. I know it's small but it is filled with so much love and we are making so oh. and we are making so many amazing memories here. I hope you have a lovely day and you get to fill your own homes with as much love and laughter and friendship as we have ours. Goodbye!